Hey guys, what's shaking? Hopefully it's your bacon. I'm Mike, and you're watching Groundworks Gaming. Today is an Arkham Origins gameplay walkthrough. I'm gonna stop talking so you can watch the cutscenes. Okay, so Bruce Wayne is kind of a jerk. Just thought I'd say that. So if you haven't uh, watched my earlier video on the upcoming games about Arkham Origins, go do that if you want to. It explains a little bit of the story, but the story will be explained if you want to keep watching these videos, because I am going to be making more of them. This is just the first video. What is that? Um, of course people don't know who Batman is because this is Origins. So keep that in mind when people are like, what is that? They don't know it's Batman because this is the beginning. So like I said in the upcoming games video, um, Warner Brothers bought the game from Rocksteady and they are now making it uh, and I'm glad to see that the fighting style is pretty much the same overall as the past two games that uh, Rocksteady made. So nice job Warner Brothers. Where 
Emperor's Black Mask. How the hell should I know? I'm going to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Grow, no. I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. He's heading to the execution chamber. <coughs> With Lobe. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Now you get to take a nap. So my guess is someone is spying on someone, that's why there's a drone. That's just my guess though, I don't know if that's correct. Why else would there be a drone? I don't know. Well, I'm glad to see there's a grapnel gun because that kind of. It's not Batman without the grapnel gun. We all knew there was going to be a grapnel gun. Talk like that's what got you into this mess in the first place. Knocking him off balance with my cape. So, to my attacks. this is an armored thug. Well, actually, he's a police officer, but an armored person, an armored criminal like they had in the past two games. So, you have to stun him with your cape and then beat him down. So far, the fighting style is pretty much the same as the past two games, which is good. New moves. Glad to see that the explosive gel is back. This is crime. Doesn't oh. I want to check the good police commissioner's pockets, cause they are mine with my money. And what have I got to show? Huh? My own men in the slammer? No, I no more. Move. No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, love! So as you can see, Black Mask isn't really the fighting type of guy, he's more of kind of like Joker. He doesn't fight much, he just has a bunch of people protecting him, which is really dumb. Just kind of the mobster type guy. That wall beside him is weak. If I can find a way in behind it, I can take him down safely. So I can explode that wall behind him and let him out. Er, take him down. Let him out. Looks like I scared him off. 
I always like taking down people with the explosive gel. I'm going to need the quick fire battering. Throw it at both of them at the same time. So we can see Black Mask isn't really that good of a guy. I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's We're we'll never getting out of here. So it looks like Killer Croc smashed the drone that was spying on him, but uh, we can see what it picked up because he didn't smash the memory card. The memory card is damaged, but I should be able to recover most of the data back in the Batcave. So it looks like this is going to be the first boss fight of the game against Killer Croc. Uh, just evade him. Keep evading him. Because of course if uh, there's blue lightning, like the lightning symbols around his head, you can uh, press triangle. But if it's red, it means you just have to get out of the way because it can't be blocked. Let's 
so like I had to do with the the guy wearing the uh, heavy armor. You have to stun him and then beat him down. So I should be able to throw my battering and blow that propane tank up. I'm a little disappointed that that was the same as last time. But still, it's a pretty good boss fight. Get that joke. At least we know he won't be ugly. Hold it right there. We're taking you in. Not tonight. So that's kind of cool. That was the first time that Captain Gordon has seen Batman. I'm going to end this video uh, right about here because pretty much over. Uh, just keep watching for the next video and more gameplay. I'll see you guys later.